Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter every single time and give you my honest thoughts on how that Kickstarter is being ran. And today, I'm very excited to be checking out Spray, the Everlasting Artist Eco Spray Paint System. Turn any plastic bottle into an awesome reusable spray can with nothing but air. Uh, so this has already raised 111,000 currency. It's 446% uh, fun and 57 days left to go. It's the most popular thing on painting, and I didn't even know there was a painting section. So this is really a oh, whole very new and exciting to me. Also, if you're enjoying this segment or my content, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below as I'm trying to reach 9,000 subscribers to celebrate my nine-year anniversary of making YouTube content. So today, as always, I'm going into this and I'm trying to say, convince me of the three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? And how much is it? So hopefully the video can at least convince me of one or two of those. This is spray and it turns any old plastic bottle into a perfectly usable spray can that feels just like the real thing. I like that. That did not beat around the bush in any way, shape, or form. It intrigued me, it piqued my interest, and now you're showing me, like, the ins and outs of what it looks like on the inside. Great first 11 seconds. <clears throat> I'm Stuart Semple, and I'm an artist. I've been making my own art materials since I was a small kid because I couldn't afford the ones in the shops, and I thought that I could make something that was more vibrant and better. Recently, you all helped support the blackest black paint, Black 3.0, right here on Kickstarter. Thank you so much. Because of you, artists all over... Alright, so I do love right, what he did right there. There's the three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Can you do it? He just said, hey, hey, I've done this before. I know what I'm doing. Don't worry. Like, just, he reassured you. Excellent. Excellent. Over the world, now have a super black they can use in their work. Today, I need your help for something else. I am so passionate about this, I can't tell you. Single-use plastics and plastic bottles are a nightmare for our world. We need to find creative ways to use them, to make something expressive, to make something out of them. My studio is clogged up with aerosols, old spray paints that I can't use anymore, things that I've squirted a few times. CFCs are destroying our atmosphere. Aerosols are bad news and you can't recycle them. That's why I've made spray and that's why I want the art community to use it. I want so I gotta say, I was like, when he started with the plastic part, I was like, eh, come on. Come on. But then when he went to the spray paint part, I was like, but dang, yeah. So I came in skeptical and I was convinced there. So, awesome. Awesome. So if you weren't even skeptical, then I imagine this is a slam dunk right now. Such good video so far. Let's see if they can keep going. There's still two minutes and 48 seconds. That's a long time for a video. I wanted to make something that was so easy to use that the world had absolutely no excuse. <laughs> so what it is, is you get any old plastic bottle. I've got a Coca-Cola one. You fill it with paint, whatever paint you like. And yes, you can use the black is black or the pink is pink or any of the paints that I've created. You grab the widget, you put it on, you screw it, then you attach the pump and you pump it to pressurize it ah. and then you spray. And when you've finished, you unscrew it and so put the original lid back on and you can store that on your shelf forever until you come to paint again. It's How cool is that? That's so genius! Simple. And it's easy to clean as well. You just spray water through it afterwards and this whole thing comes apart and it's made out of pretty simple open source materials. So everything you already have for your spray paints, you can use with this. All the nozzles that you normally use to paint, just slot right on. So hopefully that fixes wow. the problem and you're all gonna start using this in your work. Yes, <laughs> awesome, real life. <coughs> I don't like these jarring so, cuts. When you pledge your support today, you're gonna get the whole So I will say I was not a fan of the, the cut right there. I feel like the, the, the money shot was gonna be just pan out and it's just like deek deek whoop and instead it's like this, just it just it doesn't it looks it doesn't look good. I don't like it. Spray it! It could be it see what I'm saying? So when you pledge your support today, you're gonna get the whole spray kit before anybody else in the world. You're gonna get all the goodies and all the bonuses. Plus, inside the kit, you're gonna get 
a whole wow. heap of spare parts, all the tools you need, full instructions and full support from our team here at Culture Hustle. So you will have everything you need to get up and running and use spray in your work. And you look at it from the spray, uh, the Culture Hustle perspective, and I say, yeah, I imagine they do really want to help you out because if you do have an issue they want to be like oh we can get that fixed for you because then you're like oh yes the spray's great you know i had this one issue actually with one of them they sent me another one but it worked great uh so yeah i I really like what they're doing here And this is so freaking refreshing. So I do another segment called Before You Back. And the whole segment has just been when I found like really sketchy or red flags on different Kickstarters. And this is something that kind of really reassures me is when you're showing me the different stages of development. Too often it's just like, hey, here's... Uh, so this, I actually found a stock photo once where it was like they were stock photo actors, it looked like. And, and, it, and I did a reverse image search and sure enough, it looked like two of them were in fact stock image workers and one of them was actually wearing the same clothes. So when I... And it's like, so I'm, I'm more skeptical on Kickstarter especially, but showing me all the different steps in the process. I love this. This is great. <laughs> I really, really need your help today. Without your support on this project, I'm not going to be able to make this thing. I don't have the money or the resources to put this into production. And that would be a real shame because I firmly believe I've stumbled across something that can really solve the problems of single-use plastic and aerosols, at least for artists. So what I need you to do is click below, choose one of the pledge levels. There's all sorts of things that we've added here to make it worth your while. You're going to be one of the first people in the world to use spray in your work. I want you to be part of this. Please support it like you have before. I love you so much. Thank you. I think he's ah so good, such a well done video. No. <laughs> and there was one thing at the end that I really really liked, which is like be the first person in the world to do this. And like, as someone who I, I'm, I consider I'm considered an artist. I guess you know I, I do the YouTube medium and I'm creative and blah 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 blah. I don't consider myself an artist, but still, as an artist, I li- I like to be seen. I mean, you like to be seen, and so. If you were, if you're the first person using this thing and it really works well, people are like, what, what is that? And you're like, oh yeah, this is my, this is my, uh, what's it called? <laughs> this is my spray. Uh, and they're like, what, what is that? It's like, oh yeah, I got, I, I just, my book bag is full of like different colors. I just spray it on there, pump it up, boom, 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 good to go. And I, you know, I think that would be like, I think that's going to appeal to a lot of people. So hopefully we get down to the price really quickly here because do I want it? Yeah. Can you do it? I feel pretty comfortable. Uh, and how much is it? That's what I need to know. But the other thing you always want to look at is the created section. It is a British artist and curator after studying the finds. So this is, you put a whole bunch in here. Great. So three created, zero back. So what we're doing here, here is we go through the comment section to make sure it's not a flaming dumpster fire on either of the past two products. Uh, a free virtual art museum. Okay, cool. That's not what I was expecting, but that's different. I received our awards when they promised. I've received an amazing experience. I have to say I was very disappointed with the outcome of this project. The only re- thing I received was usable was the coffee mug and bag, and those have just gone into a pile with all my other mugs and bag. I'm unable to get Voma up and running, even following the FAQs. Good morning. When is the next update coming kindly? Best regards. Good afternoon. Congratulations on your success. Looking forward to the next update. Uh, when's update coming to? Why are there so few comments regarding the campaign out of interest? Looking forward to this. Okay. Okay, so we only have two negatives here out of 232 backers. So that, you know, that's that's about a right amount. <laughs> like, I'm not worried about this. You know, they're not responding to stuff, which kind of stinks. But the fact that only two people out of 232 have complained, that is fine. I feel like that's a perfectly fine ratio. Check out the next one just to make sure. The blackest black paint in the world, because this obviously is uh, the big one. Comments 2000, let's check it out. I've never received my pledge. Never got my paint. I never got my paint, and they answered. Uh, and they never answered my private message on Kickstarter or my email messages. Ooh, hi there. I haven't received my paint. Could you please check? I haven't received mine. Hey there. I have not received my paint. Oh, I never. Oh, don't sorry. Uh, okay. And then here's the one thing. Like that sounds really bad, but what redeems is is I see creator. Boom. Here you go. 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 So that does put me at ease. Uh, hello, Brian. If you need any further help, please let me know. Uh, I've yet to receive the paint. I never got anything delivered. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not experiencing the same situation that everyone is facing. I did shake it pretty vigorously for five minutes. 
Uh, okay. I never got my bottle. Hello. So the bottles were good. Uh, okay. I have an issue. I just finished my first bottle completed a project that I purchased for, and the paint has solidified in the bottle, and I'm quite disappointed. Uh, dear Thieves, when communication. Ouch. <laughs> that looks bad, but hey. Uh, he didn't really go into specifics, so what are you supposed to say to that? Uh, pardon me. Where the F is my paint? Hello, I see you filled out the survey when it was locked already. Please reach out. Okay, so th so here's what I'm saying. Like, this all looks bad. And this is why it's so important to, like, really look at both. Because it's like, yeah, there's a lot of complaints here, which is not good. But the creator's uh, on it. I have yet never seen my paint. I see you didn't fill out the survey we sent you. I never got my paint. I see you didn't provide the shipping address. So these are all, like, and this is why you can't jump to conclusions without reading both sides. Uh, it seems like you didn't fill out the survey. <laughs> so, yes... <laughs> Good for you, Stuart. I personally... Oh, uh, uh, it's great. Uh, so, yeah. And this is why you have to make sure you read, because look at... Like, it feels like half these people are just like, uh, you didn't fill out the survey, or you filled out the survey too late, which, you know, that does suck. But, okay. So, I feel comfortable-ish. Do I feel like it's a nice, warm security blanket quite yet? No. I actually want to see... I want to see it in action. I want to see what you cut away from. I want to see this get spray paint, so that's what I'm hoping to see here. An ingenious little device that turns almost any plastic bottle, one spray to rule them all, everlasting, nothing less. Just give me to the price. Because uh, here's the thing. Not everybody, not, I, I doubt most of these people are as skeptical as I am, and they just want to buy you. And, you know, I don't like when you make me go over here. Like, give me the price, naturally. This is your story. Tell me the price. What is it? I know what it is. Spray is a nifty little device. Does this video, does this video actually show me how it works? Nope. This is about the ocean. Oh, here we go. There we go. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's what that's going more towards what I want to see, which is it actually being uh, used, why it matters. You already said this. How does it work? I know. Fine. You're going to make me go over here to look at the price? Pump it. I understand. We understand this. We watched it. Cool. Lots of people working on it. Uh, one of the UK's biggest visual artists. He believes art is everyone. He also shared Sir Stuart founded Culture Hustle. Great. Some of our creations. See more at culturehustle.com. Good. Oh, and this is great. This goes a long way to can you do it? While none of these look to be something that's going to be like, oh, wow, this is, I could directly compare them to what you're trying to offer. I still see a track record. I see you having relationships with manufacturers and that, that all make, that all bodes well. Uh, here we go. Uh, the friendliest bundle. Cool. It'd be great if you told me the price of this. So no, you are quite literally going to make me go over here. You twist me right round. Wait, uh, cult members and friendliest bundle. Oh, so this is the early bird. That's the early bird. That's what we're seeing here. And I'll make sure 500 backers. Yep. 500 more backers. Yep. Wait, what? And friendliest, friendliest. 500. Are we going to, are we going to unlock that section again? Maybe. I don't know. But either way. So get rid of this. If that pledge level is gone, we don't need to see it. Bye-bye. I <laughs> Get rid of this. So that way I'm looking at exactly what I'm actually going to purchase, which is you the you twist me right round. 114 bucks. <sighs> so you twist me right round. 114 bucks. What do I think of that price? Um, is that? Yeah, I guess it's good. I mean, here's the thing. You're looking at this as a long-term investment, right? I mean, you're going to use this for a very long time in theory. And it's going to be a much cleaner system for you. I mean, I I don't spray paint that much. I don't paint that much. I'm terrible at it. I have ADHD. I just don't have the touch span for it. And I have those issues with my spray paint and with various different uh, just paints. And, and so I, 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 I like what they're saying here. Looks good. Pump it real good. Uh, so what does this include? Something. Uh, a, this, this thing. A bracelet. A pencil. It says, make your mark. It looks so generic. And some, so what are these, stickers? So, can I just buy the spray thing? Do I have to buy the rest of your inventory? Like, I don't like that. <laughs> like, it's just like, I don't, oh, I just, could, I, could you, could you knock this down to say, a hundred, and I just get rid of all the rest of the stuff? Like, I don't like that. I understand why they're doing it. They're trying to make this into a brand. And if they have this amazing product... You know, and you can get the brand loyalty. I see what they're trying to do. But, uh, I don't like it. And I love stickers. Look, look, look at this. 
Boom. That's a whole ceiling of nothing but stickers. So stickers. I'm all about the stickers, but I'm not all about the stickers when you make me pay for the stickers. <laughs> like, I, it's like, uh, I don't know. I don't like that. That rubs me the wrong way. Pump it real good. This is more of their inventory. That's a bad look. That's a bad look. I've binned the tins. That's more of their inventory. So none of these are actually anything that you're really going to want for your for your spray. That's insanely disappointing. Uh, yeah. Oh, so then we got an even bigger one, which is no. <laughs> Is this, wait, is this less stuff? Is this the same amount of stuff? Oh, it's just different. It's just different stuff. Oh, and we're still going? Stop it! Stop it! What is this? I bet this is the one most people took. Let's see. Uh, no, it's uh, Well, that's because you did the 500s. That's not... So this one's a hard one to really sell. But I imagine most people... Yeah. 38. 38. 7. Nobody wants you to rest your stuff. Eight. Nobody wants this. It just ugh, ucky. And it's now, and now because you put this here, it's just so cluttered and unappealing. And I immediately, so I always rank these: either a zero, a one, or a two. Zero means keep on going. One means back it, uh, to, or back it for a dollar. Come back in the last forty-eight hours. And two means back it for the whale. And I'm absolutely no way, shape, or form. Am I gonna give this a two? Oh, actually, I take it back. This one actually adds something you can use. Wait, is this just paint? Is that just paint? Oh, I don't know. I have to go over here. I have to go to a separate section to find out if that's just paint. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. All right, here we go. What, what am I looking for? I'm looking for... <laughs> so, what do we even get with the whale? I want to look at the whale. I'm very, I'm very curious. Be the first to get your spray. Whatever. Uh, you get the spray kit. You get the paint thinner. So, it's it's just paint thinner. Why, why do I need your paint thinner? Is it better paint thinner? Oh, I don't know, because you haven't really told me about it, I don't think. <laughs> the black... So this is the black 2.0. Wait, why can't you give me the black 3.0? Didn't you make the black 3.0? Why Why are we including black 2.0? Oh, because you're trying to get rid of your inventory? Okay, cool. Your Google Home is you shut your mouth, Google! Google you Google stay out of this! I swear. Google... Shut your dang mouth. Thank you for helping us. Like, I don't... I, ah, it's a tepid one. It's a tepid one. We've grown a lot since our 2006. Uh, we're still a crew of artists doing things by hand for the love of it. Non-profit. Whatever. Uh, updates. Whoa, my mind is blown. Thank you. And this launched two days ago. Okay. So we, we have one update in three days. That's not terrible. I mean, that's, that's, that's perfectly fine. I can't believe it. You two are, you are all too amazing. Fully fun in the first 30 minutes. Wow. So it looks like this is happening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The world is, is going to get spray. Love you all so much. Stuart. Can't wait to try it out. It looks like so much fun. Can't wait to get my hands on this amazing creation. Very excited to be part of this. Stuart. You are awesome. Oh, so many things I wanted to try this thing. You are a fight thing that are a fight in an airbrush. Some weird materials going to this poor thing when I get my hands on it. <laughs> Stuart, please keep doing what you're doing. So excited. I feel like, okay, cool. And there's there's a lot of people really excited about it. Great. Good. Uh, here's what i do, Stuart. I would ask a question. I would get people engaged. What's the first thing you're excited to put in the bottle? And then you can, because I don't know if there's much competition in the painting section. Where I come from is the board game world, the tabletop game world. It's cutthroat. Every Tuesday, there's like 40 projects. Well, last Tuesday, there's 40 projects coming out ready to crush. So I don't know how the competition is in the painting game, but you got to get your your people more engaged here because you got fifty seven people hard people want to be in uh, people want to be engaged, but you only got ten comments out of fifteen hundred people. So question it up. Comments. Here we go. What do we got? Bless you, Angela. I wish artists had partners as smart as you. All right, you hit your goal in thirty minutes. Congrats at that, and I missed the chance of the first thousand pledges. Oh, uh, and for carpenters, why? So why would you, is it limited to only five hundred? Is that why? Like, why would you have two five hundred instead of a thousand? Uh, it must have been limited or something. I never checked my emails to get the specials. And so that's what you did. You used the previous people from your prior products and also all your mailing list. And you, you reached it. And that's great. And that's why it's so big right now. I mean, that's just good social media. That's like that's good marketing. I'm really excited about this. My husband had been a serious funk creatively. And I keep hoping that it's, so this looks good. And they're active. They're engaged. Uh, I hope you are not the only person on this. I hope you have some collaborators. Let's double check. 
Boom, 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 boom. There, oh, Rain Factory Marketing. Okay, well, hopefully they're helping with something. All right, so there you go. And they're doing a good job. So, and then, Spray, the Everlasting Artist Eco Spray Paint System. Not a two. Um, I'd give it, you know, honestly, I'd give it, I'm leaning towards a zero. <laughs> I'm leaning towards a zero, because here's the thing. I know you want to be an early adopter. You really do. And if you if you feel like having to buy their swag, like just the like here's a pencil and a bracelet. Like what what is this? What, what? I'm not at, I'm not at a I'm not at a convention right now. Like you're not just handing me free stuff. Uh, I would be imagine that you could probably find this for cheaper than you're going to get it now. So that in the end, I'll give it a one. But it's only a one if you really want to be the first person on the block of this. Like, if you want to show it off and you want to be that person. Otherwise, I give it a zero. Keep on clicking. Go buy this when it's finally in the stores. And make sure that it actually works the way it, you want it to work. Because I feel like they've almost made it very unappealing for me to even back this. Just because I don't want to buy all the extra crap. <laughs> Like, let's look at that early bird. What did you force people to buy? Like, force. And I say that, like, obviously, to force them to buy. But if they wanted it, they had to buy it. Powder paint, a sticker pack, a badge, and a wristband. Like, ugh, that's just such a bad look. <laughs> like, it's just such a bad look. Um, And honestly, here's the thing. I wouldn't have minded it if it was just, like, extra goodies. Like, like, look at it from this perspective. Look at it from the marketing's perspective. Okay, so here's the deal. You make this price, and you say, here's the price. It's 100 It's, uh, what is it, $85. Oh, and look at that. Is that, no, so it's $85. And you get the thing. You just get the thing. And then when they open it, it's like, oh, there's all this extra goodies. Or maybe you just unlock those extra goodies. But then again, you can't have the bigger pledge levels, and I know you want those bigger pledge levels. Not that it looks like many people are taking those bigger pledge levels, because... The, I mean, apparently eight people do want the stuff, but I, yeah, I'm going to give it, a, uh, unless you really want it, I'll give it a one. But other than that, I got to go with zero because if you wait a month until it's after it's released, people will let you know how it is. There will be reviews out of it and it will probably be cheaper and you won't have more stuff cluttering your house that you don't want. So in the end, unfortunately, I think for the overwhelming majority of people, I'm going to give spray the everlasting artist eco spray paint system a zero, despite the fact that. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? They answered all three questions. This is the first time this has ever happened where a company has done that, where they've answered all three questions and it wasn't a flaming dumpster fire in the comments or anything like that. And I still give it a zero because, because it just it just leaves a bad taste in my mouth making people buy all that stuff. But let me know what you think about in the comments down below. I'm sure this is going to be a, a little bit of a divisive one. Uh, and as always, thanks for your time. Oh, and if you enjoy what I'm doing, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below as I'm trying to reach 9,000 subscribers to celebrate my nine-year anniversary of making YouTube content. Bye-bye.